This is Landfall, right? I'm looking for Alva. Overseer Bohai ordered us to invite you before him should you approach. Please, come with me. Go. Let him know we're coming. It's her! The Diviner was right. Overseer Bohai, a stranger, just walked through the gate. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. I will consider your request once it is determined what you are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat. Lurking in such a guise. I am no threat, okay? Back on the mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad when... May I present our honored CO. So, here she is, our great mystery. Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery indeed, my CO. How can she appear as Sobek, and yet know nothing of our ways? Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land, an ocean apart from the realm of the Chosen? And if so, to what end? I cannot answer. Only she can. But I warn you, no falsehood will satisfy us. Now speak. Why are you here? What is your purpose? I'm looking for a place called Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva told me a little bit about what you're after. I guess you could say I want what you want. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. We found Thebes. The final resting place of Ted Pharaoh's secrets. It isn't far, but the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Alva is there, along with a complement of diggers and soldiers. Is she all right? Our scouts tell us that a machine has our people pinned behind their defenses, but they're holding out. Machines, huh? I can help with that. Alva told us that you are indeed formidable. But I have a few questions first. We will answer what we can. This is their CEO, guys. What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thebes? A Thunderjaw. We've dealt with them before, but this one is... Tougher, stronger. And it has black armor? Yes. Fuck. How did you know? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Won't be easy, but I can take it down. Then destiny shines upon us, as I knew it would. A living ancestor now walks among us. And she will help me attain the secrets of Thebes. Resupply here if you must. Then on to Thebes at the base of the pyramid in the ruins. We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. Thieves awaits. Let's go resupply. Do they have any vendors? You do, it looks like. 
don't think I need to resupply. Okay, I do need to resupply some stuff. It's on armor vendor. Do they have a weapon vendor here? Can't wait to fight an Apex Thunderjaw. Utaro Grave Singer. Alright. I will await your return. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Ah! Ah! A cook. Cool. Is there no weapon vendor here? That's disrespectful. Why don't they not want to sell me their weapons? Destiny cannot be purchased, but your path to it can be easy. Yeah, I can't wait for it to be more than just an Apex Thunder draw as well. You're back. Pharaoh's tomb, go to Thebes. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's get going. Okay. Off to the big pyramid to fight the thunder jaw. Parkour! Parkour! A rush of air. I'm scared. They better all come rushing out to fight it with me. That's all I gotta say. Yo, it's not here. Yo, we're off. We're oh, we're saved. There's nothing here. We're Four saved. Run, we're stranger. saved. There's a killer machine about. <laughs> That's what here for. The machine will kill you. There you are. Where were you hiding? I guess we're doing this. Oh my god, that thing's terrifying. <laughs> Apex Thunderjaw. It's no good. It's too much interference. They're they're acid canisters underneath. Get my stamina back. Two damage. Two damage. Fucker. Oh. 
Wait. Where is your ass canister? You're on they're not on your tail. The tail is your purge water canister. Okay. Go. Yeah, shoot them. Yeah, make them fight. He's getting ready. Come on. No, you stay back in your corner. Your corner was a nice safe space. For all of us. Oh, come on. Stop that. Oh, no. There we go. Now, what's he going to do? Let's break the AI. I'm being out of his line of sight, technically. No, stop moving closer. Stop move. Stop. Stop. We're breaking the AI, and I don't give a fuck. Yeah, attack them. Yeah, fuck them up. Break that wall down. Can you not? All right. Now what? Do you not? Come over here. No, this is my safe space. This is my safe cheesy space. You stop. Okay, oh, die. 
Dive, Aloy, dive! What's over here? Okay, we're safe. I should have checked this beforehand, but... You know. We're not smart. Shit, my space is blown. It's okay. Be a part of the heart exposed. That heart being the heart of the cards. We gotta believe in the heart of Where was he hiding, by the way? He came from this side? Frost isn't gonna do much. No, it's not. You know it will? I get that weapon. My question is, why does this Apex Thunderjaw only have like half of its weapons? There's two? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> there doesn't need to be two. One is more than enough right now. I need that weapon to blow that thing up. All right, he's looking. We got. We gotta go for it. Suck this, bitch! That's all I get. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, lasers! Yeah, I, I kind of, I kind of figured that as I was saying it, like they were already battling with this thing for a little bit. But a normal Apex Thunder jump. Okay, fuck my cover. I see how it is. Okay, alright, we blow it up now. Oh, I thought you were gonna move more than that. Okay. He's falling over. Oh, he's playing the corner too. I'm talking about baby one shot it I don't know I, I didn't die at all to it I, I one shot that bitch 
Let's go. I didn't die to it instantly at first. That was a well fought. Listen, I'm, I'm playing to the strengths of someone or something. Don't worry about it. It's a well fought fight. That Thunderjaw had me in the first half. I want this. Give me that. Okay, that radar was not worth blowing up. Was that a trap right there? No, we're still intern. Nah, I was using line of sight. To my advantage. Hundred percent. You killed that machine. Your CEO sent me. I need to speak to Alva. By all means. Hail then. machine hunter. Open the gates. Stay Staying strong, Aloy. Staying strong. We beat the fuck out of that apex thunderjaw. Aloy. Yo, what up, girl? Alva, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you got rid of that machine, but. What are you doing here? There's something inside Thebes that I need. I went to Landfall. I met your CEO. We came to an agreement. Kind of. And you're going to help us get in? I guess so. The whole thing was a little tense. There's something off about that guy. And I don't understand what he wants from Thebes. I thought we found the data that your people needed back on the mainland. That data will take us years to sift through. The CEO wants faster results. Aloy, you have to be careful. He's- There they are. The legacy tells us that Elizabeth Sobek helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. Thebes awaits us below, shall we? Quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. Behold, the door to Thebes. A door like no other. Well, you're right about that. It's designed to open for only one man. Ted Farrow. But the legacy tells us that he worked closely with Sobek. He trusted her. Surely she could open the door, and so surely can you. Not gonna happen. At least not from this side. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, if I may... Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his palace alone. We know this from scraps of data we found, the ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. Or for servants. We can't reach them. The way is flooded, and they're too far underwater, but... I yeah. I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Then do what you must to get us inside. I don't like the cut of this guy's jib. Who is this? Who is this? You came rushing over here. Okay, bye. That door is all that stands between me. Um. <laughs> this water's 
Ooh. Like a hot spring. We call them a cone head. Guys, I watched that Megan movie today. Look at that thing. The one about Oh Okay. Is that lava? Sorry. Um about the doll or whatever. Um it's on Peacock if you wanna watch it. It's something. It's a movie. Um <laughs> let's put it that way. It's a movie. There was less murdering than I thought there was gonna be in it, to be honest. It is a movie that is on a streaming service. <laughs> it's one of those one like it, it's. I don't know how to put it. You know those old sci-fi movies that were so bad they were good, like Sharknado and like the Nazi. Nazi zombie one that they had. And someone like in a lot of the disaster movies, like how they're so bad that they're good. I have to go up. This is just bad. Trem Tremors is a fan. It, don't you dare say that's a movie that's so bad it's good. That stars American legend Kevin Bacon. Actually, I think he's Canadian. But that's besides the point. That movie's time. good good, especially for the time that it came out. That movie's good good, but like a lot of those old sci-fi uh, movies when the, uh, you know, they were they were just so bad. Like so bad that they're good. Like Sharknado. I honestly, I think, I mean someone Google it, but I think lava can be underneath water. Without it, like, turning it into, uh, you know, the hardened metal it does. If it's, like, close to the source of the lava. Oh, this isn't cool. Yo, we're gonna get chopped up. Ah, uh, potentially, maybe. I don't know the I don't know the science behind it. Maybe it's magma that's down there. Well, she made a comment that the water's warm, and this is only flooded due to. Um, everything that's health has happened with the world and shit like that. Like, this wasn't flooded before, like, when this was built and all that stuff. There's gotta be a way to stop that turbine around here somewhere. Like, this wasn't, like, built to be underwater. This was built to just be an access tunnel. However, due to everything that's happened with the world, um, it is now underwater. <laughs> Probably this console right here to disable the turbine, huh? Stop the turbine. Good. What? That's. Did you Google that, or do you just know that, Sakura? That's a. That's a word. And it's big. And I don't know what it means. <laughs> okay, I'm inside, but how do I let the coin in? We don't let the coin in. We don't let them in. Yo, we're by the gym. Who wants to pump some iron? Looks like an exercise room. Rip Riggery. Oh. Here I am again. Hiding in the gym. Writing to stay sane in this crazy place. I can't 
can't believe Gregory's dead. Our so-called spiritual leader was fine yesterday and then suddenly passed away in his sleep. And no one will talk to me about it. They treat me like a child, whispering behind my back, as if I can't cope with death, even after the end of the world. Cool. I mean, that's cool, Sakura. I'm not gonna lie. Not, not what happened to Grigory. That's really sad what happened to Grigory. What's cool is you knowing about volcanism and the magma and the water and all that fun stuff. And <laughs> what happened to Grig What happened to Grigory is tragic. Rip that guy. I think he passed away asleep, so it's not really tragic. It's just, you know, sad that it happened. He deserved it. What did he ever do to you? What did Grigory ever do to you, Delgo? gonna be a, I mean they said religious leader so or spiritual leader so yeah probably some cult things living area it's Excuse pretty me. big too new normal there's nothing normal about a scientist his daughter a guru and well let's face it a harem living through the end times in the trillionaires underground survival bunker but now that kagori has gone I'm worried things will get even weirder he helped keep Ted stable for a couple of years, sort of. Without him, who knows? And we don't even understand what happened to him. Oh, shit. He actually, he may have been murdered. I wonder who the harem is. <laughs> I wonder who the harem is. Bailey, is it you? Are you the harem? Do 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 do. Let's hope this is the way to the main door, so I can let the Quinn in. This place is massive. Wait, that's the way to the main door? Fuck that. We don't want to let them in yet. We gotta explore the secrets for ourselves. Ooh, a data pad in the bedroom. Ooh. Gory Fushbosh journals. Text log, data corruption severe. Did I tell Ted what he needed to hear or only what he wanted to hear? Did I want to lead him to salvation, or was I simply seeking my own? I invited him to consider his being in a universe bereft of the trappings of techno-nihilism. But did he instead annihilate his own past along with the rest of the world? Oh god, what have I done? This is this is right after he uh, purged the Apollo system. So, so lava can be lava underwater. I think that's what we've determined here. So that is lava down there. And that's why it feels so warm uh, in the water to Aloy. Wait, Grigori convinced Faro. Is this Grigori's fault then? Sorry, I just kind of realized that Grigori kind of admitted to Possibly talking Faro into deleting the Apollo system. That's big news. About Grigori. I know everyone's reeling after Grigori's uh, untimely demise. He was a deeply spiritual man who wasn't afraid to rip back the curtain and gaze where few men dare. I've asked Dr. Sumtau to, you know, check on what happened to him. I'm sure he had some kind of condition or something. The main point is that while we certainly miss him, we will go on. Everything's gonna be okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, being that close to lava, I mean, yeah. This is a good thing she didn't get cooked alive. I guess we have to go up top here. We explored everywhere else. Look at this place. It's pretty fancy for a survival bunker. There. The door. Let's hope I can open it from the inside. Let's take a look around first. Yeah, we can't let them get their hands on this fancy ancient sculpture. It's a sex bunker. I mean, there is a harem here. No, this is a bunker for the end of the world. Uh, how's Ted Faro? The guy who funded the whole Zero Dawn project almost. And uh, at least, well, he's the reason why it all happened. Like the world ending, so. New data point. Most of Ted's women repulse me, okay? They're like contestants on a housewife sim preening for the hubby's attention. But Brianna, the hollow singer, she's different. She's always been nice to me. And I love her voice, which has been conspicuously silent since Grigori died. She doesn't speculate or gossip like the others. She knows something. I can tell. And I'm going to find out what it is. No, Faro didn't bang uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth was uh, the classic married to her work. Pharaoh. So, so Elizabeth worked for Pharaoh uh, initially, but she didn't like the uh, turn of making all the weapons militarized, or all of their stuff militarized. So she quit the company, uh, TFS Ted Faro Solutions. And then Ted Farrell Solutions, as we found out, we actually visited the area, the uh, the laboratory where they created the the nano machines that essentially ate all biological life on the world, which is essentially what happened. What was the big apocalypse was these machines um, becoming sentient and basically consuming everything that was biological on the Earth for fuel. Um, and so, like, obviously he helped uh, fund and have facilities for everyone to work on the Zero Dawn project and shit. But in his time in hiding or whatever, like here, and it seems like when he was talking with Grigori, uh, we'll probably get more answers here in a little bit. Um, he deleted the Apollo subprocess of... Uh, which which held all the history of the humanity and all that stuff and then of the world and shit like that so like any ancient history anything leading up to what happened so on and so forth he deleted the uh, apollo sub process which held that history because he didn't want people finding out that he was the reason for it all and he didn't want his name tarnished or anything like that is essentially what happened and then he uh he killed all of the other, like, high-end executors, essentially, of the program. And then I think he ended up killing himself. Ah, good. An emergency exit function. Emergency exit Door is open. Destiny is upon us. I knew you could do it. What's going on? The CO is preparing to enter Thebes. Oh, why are you dressed like Ted Pharaoh? I am Pharaoh, renewed. My essence is the same as his. Across the years, across the generations, his soul is my soul. His will is my will. We are sundered in only one way. I need his final testament, his deepest secrets. And now that the door is open, those secrets are within my grasp. When I have them, I will be complete as he was 
I will have everything I need to save our homeland, and, as Pharaoh did, the world. Okay. I think there's some confusion here about who Pharaoh really was. No one knows better than I who he was, who he is. Me. The Renewer, greatest of the ancestors, the man who saved the world, and you. You understand, Sobek. You are her, Pharaoh's harbinger, his assistant. Come, we will descend into Thebes together, as it should be. Bring her the raiment. Raiment? As he is Pharaoh, you are Sobek. For an occasion, this momentous, shouldn't you wear proper business attire? Whoa. No, 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 no. No, I am not wearing that. No way. You will wear the proper attire to mark this moment. Or what? It is said Sobek valued life above all else. Is this true? Fine. I'll wear your raiment. Excellent. Shall we proceed? Look at this place. The grandeur. Pharaoh's domain. Um, Simply Delgo, in the first game Excellent. it was believed that when Somewhere they took off in into here, space, left their him. ship blew up. But we found out very early on in this game that um, their ship made it. Uh, so, uh, yes, people made it to space. Uh, it's actually like a, a plot point in this game in general. So, uh, I don't want to say much more for if you go to play the game at any point or if you watch a playthrough of it or anything like that. But, uh, yes, people made it to space. Let's go find them. <laughs> You're magnificent. Perhaps we should leave guards behind to cover our exits? Indeed. Let it be done. It looks like pajamas, isn't it? Honestly, if this was my business outfit, which it kind of is, it's super comfortable. You know? Who doesn't love comfy clothes for work? To think of all this preserved for the ages. As destiny intended for me. This guy's got two guns. Looks like the emergency exit function unlocks this. They each got a gun, but these are big guns. I don't want to fight these guys. Oh my god. Pharaoh's visage, a monument to greatness. True, my seal. It's a monument to something, I'll give you that. Loot! I just realized, I, it's kind of put it together like, Ted Pharaoh isn't like a pharaoh bring great bounties of the Egyptians, you. and this is like, has very heavy like Egyptian tomb pyramid vibes. I just, it just kind of clicked for me. I think this way might lead down. Excellent. Remember every detail of his, Bohai, for posterity. It will be its own chapter in your legacy. In the yeah, I guess Thebes too. Whoa! Crazy! I just... I'm... Listen, I'm on a different level than everyone, Vel. I said it earlier. <laughs> I'm working on a different level than anyone else, dog. Brianna told me that Gregory hacked into restricted files. 
and found out something awful. That Ted murdered important people who worked on Zero Dawn. Did Ted punish Grigori? Kill him for discovering what he did? How could that be? Dad said there wasn't a mark on Grigori's body. His heart just gave out. Find anything interesting? I am... Um, I can't make sense of it yet. So hey, this is weird. Yeah, I tried to warn you. Yeah, sort of. I'll explain everything if we survive long enough. Uh, those certainly look threatening. Huh. Statues. The guardians of Pharaoh's domain. Those aren't statues. Those aren't statues. Look out! Get the CO out of here! Yo, use those Just guns you have! Oh shit. We have to fight. Two corruptors. Oh, they are using their guns. Sick. It's all so loud! Turns down a little bit. Is this a giant? Is this an eyeball on the ground? Like, if this radar wasn't here? <sighs> okay. Help. Fuck my life. You got Not a bad hit. Let's go. That was all me. Not the guys are raining hell down from above. All me. Uh, Hades was the evil robot in the last game. Where's Overseer Bohai? He Hades was the evil robot. The or, not the evil robot, the evil AI. We can't afford to lose any more diviners than necessary. So, no more delays. We must proceed. He was also a sub-process, uh, of Alo- or of, of, uh, Gaia. Which was, like, the overarching, like, AI that was supposed to oversee everything. Um, with the re-terraforming of Earth and shit. Uh, but a signal came from space and uh, separated Hades from Gaia, and then when that happened, uh, you know, all the other... Uh, Gaia destroyed herself, all the other AI scattered throughout the world and such like that, which is why we have Apex machines, which is Hephaestus is doing. Uh, and this whole game's been kind of like, you know, finding a backup of Gaia and then getting the sub-processes to get her back to her full power and shit. However, we had to kill Hades because he's a whole ass bitch. Brianna didn't wake up this morning. What? She's gone. Just like Grigori. I'm looking up at the giant. Yeah, Hades she, uh, statue of Ted in the Great she basically sacrificed herself. His eyes. After creating the clone of Subek, watching. which is now Aloy. He's watching us all. 
He's always had power over us. I just never knew how much. That was like, you know, before the first game, you kind of found that all out in the first game. And now this game's got, it's expanding on the story a lot more, which is good. It's really, really good. I'm just gonna do this. I don't. Uh, I mean, yeah, Sobek's an Egyptian god, but like they they use a lot of they use Greek, uh, you know, names and stuff in this game too. Like Poseidon was one of the sub processes, Prestos, Hades, Demeter, Ether. I think those are all Greek gods. Controlled environments. When I built this place, when its special systems were designed, I knew what I wanted: protection, of course. An unlimited power source, that was a given. But also... Control. Over every possible eventuality. After all, you never know what will happen, especially when the human element is involved. What did you find? Trust me. You don't want to know. I guess I don't. Ted Pharaoh's a twat. This is a cool, uh, cool area though, I'm not gonna lie. I like how this is designed. Ever deeper we go. Usually everything's like, uh, you know, blue and like metal like that, but this is kind of like got stone and like kind of golden, uh, kind of feel, uh, to it all. Warm, where like everything else is like kind of blue and feels cold. What is that? A reclining throne attached to some kind of apparatus. I wonder what it does. An impressive setup. What is it for? I'm sorry, CEO. I don't know. My focus can't read the data here. What about the living ancestor? Is the data lost to her? Yes. 100% lost to me. Foshbach. I never thought Ted would actually do it. I assumed the whole thing was just to scare me. To keep me under control. To show what he might do to Kanya if I stepped out of line or screwed up his treatments. It certainly kept me motivated. What does it say about me? About us? There's so few of us left, and we're still keeping secrets from each other. Such terrible secrets. Somptau. Somptau, what a name. Ten ancient cook sculpture so far, let's go. Ted's getting impatient. How can I explain to him that you can't really prove an organism has achieved immortality in a day, a week, or even a year? The question literally embodies the idiom, only time will tell. I have no idea how long his body will survive. All I know is that it will last a lot longer than mine. As far as the therapy goes, we've graduated from two steps forward, one step back to two steps forward, one step sideways. <laughs> With each treatment, his cells regenerate more effectively. Fish, yeah, effectively. I can't read sometimes. At this point, I don't think they're aging at all, but mutations keep popping up and each one has to be treated individually. So far, my strategy of pharmaceutical whack-a-mole seems to be working. But for how long, and with what side effects? The irony is, I have probably achieved more for the field in these last two years than the entire industry did in the last 20. But no one's around to appreciate it. Ted sure doesn't. These days, he doesn't seem to appreciate anything. Somtow. Oh boy, this place is big. I don't want to go towards Scan that chair. Scan the device, if you will. I was never a big history buff. I'm not gonna lie, guys. 
That being said, I love learning about the history of lore in video games. <laughs> like each each game's individual lore. I love learning about that shit. But history of our own stuff. Please. Never a fan. Scan the device. Hold your fucking horses. You pharaoh wannabe. Oh. Well, yes. Oh, here we go. You you did this for him? You put like off switches in everyone's heads? Kenya, you mustn't judge me. I had no choice. If I said no, what would he do to us? What would he do to you? You're my little girl. I was trying to keep you alive. For what, Dad? Seriously, why? So we can be trapped in this underground nightmare? You know what we have to do. Please. Did this for him? You put like... Did you find a recording? Tell me what your Aloy? focus reveals yeah. about the device. I'll share it with you later. All right, we've seen everything. Made a minor adjustment to the gene therapy regimen and added a new cocktail to treat the symptoms caused by the mutations. Hopefully, there will be some stabilization after the next treatment. God knows what Ted will do to us if there isn't. The early results were so promising. No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... Oh, if only I had access to my old lab in Bangkok, or my old colleagues, or my old liquor cabinet. Stop it. Got to stay positive for Kenya. So it did you work for a while. Something. I could tell. Did the data explain what Pharaoh used this device for? I think he was undergoing treatments to live longer. A lot longer. Really? Could he still be alive? Don't be foolish. If he were alive, he would have kept his essence. It would not have been passed down to me. Remember, he was the renewer. Of course he would have stopped at nothing to grasp the secrets of life and death. But not for himself. Everything he did was for a new beginning. For us, for the Quen. And for his true heir, me. You know, I'm starting to think you're right. You do have a lot in common with Ted Farrow. I knew you would see in time. Let us continue. <laughs> his secrets... Oh, wait. He took it as a compliment, but it wasn't a compliment, dog. She just burned your ass. Hmm. Is that a small office for a minor functionary, perhaps? This guy thinks he's a descendant of Ted Farrow. He might well be a descendant of Ted Farrow. I don't think he would be, but... I don't see how that would be possible with knowing what I know, but it's possible. Anything's possible anymore. Wait, do I have actual armor on? No wonder I got fucked up. Oh wait, I I do, but I don't. I'll keep it on for the lore purposes. Heat rising. An automated geothermal energy plant right under the city of San Francisco. A marvel. Even I can run it. And let's face it, I was always more of a visionary than an engineer. Which is why I had the foresight to insist on the inclusion of a very unique feature. Just in case anyone ever tries to steal my cheese, so to speak. Oh god, we're gonna... We're going to detonate a volcano underneath San Francisco, I think. Look at all this equipment. We are getting closer to the heart of this place. I can feel it.
Can you guys move so I can scan this thing? Damn it. Reactor reports. Reactor status week 50,844. <laughs> Power 61%, efficiency 54%, structural integrity 41%, base temp 1,876 degrees Fahrenheit, core temp 541 degrees Fahrenheit, condition nominal, safeguard operational, warning, structural integrity low, core vulnerable, any disturbance may trigger safeguard protocol. I think that's up to date. I think it's been 50,000 weeks since it was installed. Break the door down. I'm going to look for another way in. Good idea. Break the before. door down. Very well. Get to it. Here's this guy at. Desk pop. Oh, damn. Break it open! There it is. Well, Caster can't reach. Open that door! I wish I would have hit his head. Is that a vent of some sort? Not a bad idea. I like how he's a CO. I wonder what his real name is because I doubt it's CEO. She's gone. Did she make it to the other side? I thought I saw some something moving over there, but I guess it's just how the like the dust fell as the lighting happened or whatever. I don't know. Maybe I can access Ted's files from here. So what is this guy in here? How about that? Any other loot? Mine. He's the one feeling sorry for himself. Less his future. Less his children. Someday they'll come. And I'll be here to greet them. Sometimes that my aging has stopped altogether. If anything, my cells are replenishing faster than normal. I just need some time for the mutations to calm down. Time. And energy. Sometimes the reactor can give me what I need to grow strong again, to get my shit back together, so I can greet the kids. They're gonna need me. My advice, my guidance, and then I won't be alone anymore. Pharaoh's secrets. Are they here? Uh, not the ones you're looking for. Then they must be 
in there. Trust me. You don't want to go in there. Are you mad? I haven't come all this way to stop now. <sighs> Holy shit. At last, Pharaoh's legacy is mine. Burn it to ash. Wait, no. Pharaoh has it rigged to melt down if... Kill them too. No witnesses. I can hit them oh, ball sack. Oh, Alright, um... He has a flamethrower. Something. You bitch. I got big guns. We're in a terrible spot, right? Now. There's lava in here. Oh my god. <laughs> He's on fire. Got him. Is there anyone else alive? Oh, that guy's still alive. Face me. One on one. Yeah, I can't build a frost state up on him. Um. Only 60 seconds damage. There we go. I see you. We're using strike through ammo too. <laughs> we whipped. All right, this guy dies now. Pharaoh rigged the reactor to overflow if he dies. We have to run. Uh, we need these. Okay. Give me that. Uh, was there more guards? Or did they all come in with us? Ah, fuck it. What is it when we get there? Yo, can I go check on Ted Pharaoh? I want to see what he looked like. Can I go see what he looked like? Okay. Dude, that's crazy. I thought he killed himself with with the people, but he didn't. Ow, fuck you. You can finish her. Enjoy 
destroy your time in the lo- Oh, shit. I'm hurt. I need cleansing potions. That. I can't make it. This will help. I can barely breathe. Get the fuck out of here. I'm glad I broke open that door. Dude, what, what are they doing? Do they not understand this place is coming down? Get over there. Are you okay? Are you still alive? Two headshots, you're still- look, look at- There we go. I put arrows in both their eyes. And then one last one in the forehead to finish them off. Okay. Large stamina potion recipe recovered. It uncovered. Oh boy, we're gonna die. Ugh. I'm stuck. Step bro, help. I didn't need to go. I didn't need to try to jump that. I was in a different room than I thought I was in. Hurry, sire. Come on. Out of my way. Well, you know he did. Ted took him out with a kiss. He got fucked up. Soldiers above us, no I see her. How is he not dead? Got her in my Rain the throat. What the fuck? How did I hit? Face my blade. Uh. 
what a leap. What a leap of faith on that guy. Okay, okay, we're almost out, we're almost out. No, don't wait. You gotta move, chick. Oh god, this is all breaking down. found something that will help not just your homeland but everywhere but where's the CO oh, he's gone I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes I see You must think I'm eminently stupid. What? No. No. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But we really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it and use it. Now, if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go. And then take credit when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems then that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please. But Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl? I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. Pharaoh's now that I have Omega complete. clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. Might be worth looking around the island, too. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the CEO made me play dress-up.